The PDL, the W League, the Super 20 League, and the Super Y League continue to provide a platform for thousands of young men and women to achieve their soccer dreams. But right now, let's turn our attention back to USL Pro. Mike Klan introduces us to the rest of the teams in the dynamic top flight. Wilson, Very few teams in this country have enjoyed as much success on the field as USL's Rochester Rhinos. One of six teams in USL Pro's National Division for the 2011 season, the Rhinos entered the professional soccer landscape back in 1996, building a model franchise in a town that quickly earned the nickname Soccer City, USA. The 2011 Rhinos are looking to return to their championship glory days of the past, a storied history that includes three USL Professional League championships and bragging rights as the only USL team to win the prestigious Lamar Hunt U.S. Open Cup in the MLS era. In the Rhinos' path this season, five national division sides, three with USL experience, and newcomers FC New York and the Los Angeles Blues. FC New York has assembled an international roster that caters to the melting pot that is New York City. Once again, the world's greatest game has found a home in the world's greatest city. From the skyline of Manhattan to the pitch at St. John's University, FC New York is hoping 2011 can bring USL pro success to the Big Apple. Meanwhile, the West Coast has been getting behind the Los Angeles Blues since the first year team launched into USL Pro this season. Head coach Charlie Namo, a veteran USL coach and executive, is working with a blend of local and international talent to attempt to guide a Southern California team into the postseason for the first time since the San Diego Flash and the Los Angeles Salsa in the 90s. Moving to Ohio, the Dayton Dutch Lions have made the move to USL Pro this season after participating as a professional team within the USL PDL in 2010. As their name refers, Dayton is a squad with a clear Dutch influence, from several Dutch players dotting the roster to head coach Ivar van den Teren manning the sidelines. The Dutch Lions are making their presence known in USL circles by emulating the classic Dutch playing style, as well as establishing a formal affiliation with European side FC 20 of the Dutch Eredivisie, which will compete in the 2011-12 UEFA Champions League. In Pennsylvania, USL Pro fans are treated to an intrastate rivalry with the continuation of a USL Keystone State Derby between the Harrisburg City Islanders and the Pittsburgh Riverhounds. Pittsburgh has been around this neighborhood before, playing in USL's top division for much of the past decade and later also creating a stir in USL 2. They made it to the postseason last year before being knocked out by finalist Richmond. Nonetheless, three players, Jeremy Dayton, Shintaro Harada, and Hunter Gilstrap were named USL's second division rookie, defender, and goalkeeper of the year, respectively. Now in USL Pro and a strong young team, Pittsburgh is hoping to get back to the postseason and survive a tightly packed national division regular season. 2007, USL Pro's Harrisburg City Islanders claimed the USL's second division title before a national television audience on Fox Soccer. They'd like nothing more than to hoist the trophy again in 2011. Harrisburg has been a part of USL since 2004, and now four years after their championship run, the City Islanders have added a number of attacking pieces, including former game, University of Maryland Jeremy talent Ford Jason Herrick. Who can forget his goal in just the first minute back in 2008 as Maryland encountered Wake Forest on Fox Soccer. For USL Breakaway Magazine, I'm Mike Klan reporting. From the pros at the top of the USL pyramid to the stars of tomorrow kicking it in the Super Y League, United Soccer League's silver anniversary season is sure to be full of glittering memories. Remember, our coverage of the USL Pro Game of the Week begins on Saturday night, June 11th in Rochester, as the Rhinos host the Harrisburg City Islanders. It's one of 15 USL telecasts this summer on Fox Soccer. It'll also include the championship matches in the PDL, W League, and USL Pro. Be sure to check USLsoccer.com for the full schedule and stay tuned. Well, that's it for now, but our journey has just begun. Thanks so much for watching, and keep watching. For all of us here at the United Soccer Leagues, I'm Ken Tomash. See you next time on USL Breakaway Magazine Show.